Hello, everybody! Rufal here, and I bring unto you our next game. Here by request, we have a game which will introduce itself in about a minute and a half. <laughs> but I'm going to let it do that. What are we looking at? To be perfectly honest, I don't know. <laughs> Probably the sky. Could be anything, really. Oh, let's shift the view to a lady. What did she find? We will never know. Now seriously, we won't. That's of no importance, it's just some strange thing out in the back alley, behind a theater. Out in the city of Midgar. Folks! Let's play Final Fantasy VII. The original one released in 97 for the PlayStation. Not the, not the remake that's either out now or coming out soon. Whatever they're doing with that. I don't care. If it had been 10 years earlier, I might have cared. But, you know. Let's catch up with this trade over here and get started. The train has invaders! Oh! Ooh, what a kick! Everyone say hi to us! Aha! Alright. First, loot the bodies! And comically, some guards just pass right by the other guy and come after us. Who are we? Well, we are some ex-soldier who hasn't been re introduced. Oh, sorry. EX-SOLDIER! Why it's in all caps, I don't know. That would imply it's an acronym, but... Eh. That is a big sword, isn't it? Oh well, let's get moving. Hey there, people! Ah, another group called the Avalanche. These guys are part of. No, we don't get to know what these acronyms are for, stand for. <laughs> Didn't catch your name. Name! It's Cloud. Cloud Strife. Hey, you're bigs. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not part of your group. I'm a merc. The job's over. I'm off. All right, all right, all right. This fine gentleman here is named after my favorite sniping rifle. Barrett. He's a very desperate Mega Man wannabe. But, you know. And he tells us how to run. Which, uh... I hope you know before getting to this point, because you're in for some very slow going if you're not running. Make our way around. We Somehow everyone got in front of us. Probably because of some encounter with these, with, uh, what is this? Guards! Black! Funnily enough, the guards' club will do more damage than their, than their machine guns. 
I don't have an answer for why that is. It just is. <laughs> oh well. Let's head into the reactor. Hello, sir! Of course not. I used to work for these guys, you know. Yes, so? Who cares? We're here to set a bomb, not have a lesson. Oh, all right. First! You're going on the back row. You have a ranged weapon. Why are you on the front row? Sure thing, Jesse. Use it! Biggs' line here implies that Avalanche is a lot bigger than just these four people, but we're not really gonna see any other people. No matter. Let us loot the building. Give me stuff! Yay! Phoenix down is the revive is the revival item in case somebody gets knocked out in combat. Yeah, I got it. Whee! And then what? Why should I? You know, why should I care? thing I care about is finish the job before, before the security personnel show up. Come on, hit him! Hit him! Oh. Fine. It's actually a pretty good reason why Barrett does, didn't hit Cloud. Uh, I'm pretty sure Cloud could tear Barrett to shreds. <laughs> Cloud actually has a better weapon than Barrett, so it hits harder. As we'll get to see. Thirty-five! That was a crit, so it did double damage, so forty forty-three. Yeah, Cloud would Cloud would win that slugging match. Out of the way, Jesse. Also, give us a brief tutorial on how to use a ladder. Kind of important. But we're gonna grab this push and continue on down. If you talk to Jesse, she gives you the tutorial again. So. Let's just go. We come face to face with more stuff. But since Barrett has a ranged weapon, he can attack these enemies on the back row without any without any penalty. Which Cloud would suffer. It's like a 50% damage penalty. It's it is significant. For that matter, having Cloud stand on the back row row is a significant damage penalty. But no matter, we have a bomb to set, and we're close to to the heart of this reactor, so we can set it. Make sure everything goes up in smoke. Ooh, stuff! Yay! We'll have to do something with that later. Oh, that's the plan. What? Shouldn't you set it? Alright, fine, whatever. Ah! The noise! Well, it's not just a reactor, then what is it? And who was that? Huh? 
Oh, right. Dum de dum. Oh, I think I screwed up. Can we get some kind of robot? Quick, use magic. Shoot it. There are beatings to be had. Pretty universally, robots are, are weak against uh, lightning. What was that? A terrible miss. That kind of attacks too slowly to be a threat, doesn't he? Like that. Jackie while it's tail up will pr we'll provoke a counterattack. Also, it takes reduced damage. But, uh, I'm gonna do this for a different reason. Huh. Well, because Barrett's on the back row, he didn't- he took less damage and didn't get his limit break. Alright, fine, whatever. The fun thing about the limit break is that they actually break the turn order. Notice I told Barrett to attack first. If I was going to anyway. Aha! I don't think that's gonna come soon enough to, to mean anything. This should do it. Oh! Fine! Take that, Funk! Yay! And, we got a new weapon for Barrett, which will put his, atta his attack power on par with clouds. <laughs> That's, uh... We've also had our giggles, so it's time to get out of here. First things first. You, quit that. Excellent. But that timer breaks for nobody. Loading, it's counting. Saving the game, it's still counting. Here's, here's Barrett's Mega Man impression. Well done, sir. Finish that thing off. The ten minute timer is actually is actually quite generous. If you're not wasting your time, then even with the random encounters, you should be able to get out with at least five minutes to spare. So... And no reason to sweat too heavily about the timer. <laughs> However, we do need to help out Jessie. She kind of got her foot stuck in the girders. If you don't help out Jesse, then uh, you're gonna be in a bit of trouble. Cause you'll have to come back and get her.
tagging from behind. Quick! I'll tell them to run away ever so briefly just so they turn around. Yeah, that's a 50% damage cut to the back row. Ranged weapons are awesome. Up the stairs. In there, Cloud. Now, if you didn't rescue Jesse, then this is the part where you realize you need to go back for her. So it's quite the trip if you forget about her. But no matter. Somehow we blundered into some stationary turrets. Why are we stopping to fight them? Man, these things take forever to, to take their turn. Come on, guys, quit screwing around. We got a guy here. And thus, our playthrough of Final Fantasy VII shall start with a bang. We'll continue next time. Later.